Juneteenth will be celebrated on Monday, but right now, a new movie called The Blackening features the federal holiday as the backdrop to celebrate friendship. The project takes history, hilarity, and horror to a whole new level. Two of the filmmakers told me they also want to instill hope to those who need it most. A cabin in the woods is where a group of friends gather to catch up and celebrate Juneteenth. Why are all the doors locked? As audiences will find out, the celebration takes a twisted turn when a board game is found on the property. Pick a card. Sacrifice the person you deem the blackest. The blackest? Not the blackest. Prove it. I voted for Trump. <gasps> what? what? Twice. From the early days of film, black characters were often depicted as stereotypes or caricatures playing the role of being expendable early on. But this project, which is based on a Comedy Central sketch, aims to make fun of while also expelling that primitive thought process. You didn't have to worry about which one was going to like survive because they're all black and it's not like a token situation. So I just thought it was really fun. I'll be right back. Early screenings produced screams of disbelief, humor, horror, and uncertainty, accompanied by a celebratory emotion surrounding black culture, an aspect the filmmakers feel everyone is able to enjoy. What I've found in my career is that whenever I've made something that's really specific to the black culture, it, it actually has this um, effect of being accessible to all cultures, just because I think, you know, in all cultures, all these characters do exist. <laughs> Tracy Oliver and Tim's story are success stories looking to inspire young people to dream and achieve them like they did, especially young black people. They believe getting off the streets and being successful in life starts at home with accountability and support from parents like their own. But I, I would also say that they never, to their credit, put limits on what I could dream about. And that was where my mom would always be like, do that, but I'm not your fallback. She was her source of encouragement, suggesting options like the arts and after-school programs, finding major sources of stability in an unstable world. You have a dream and you want to go after something, but at the same time, it's going to take work. Act. Work that could turn into big things like filmmaking and not into becoming an expendable character in real life. On many levels, Tracy and Tim are helping to open the right door. You know, stop playing. Great job as always, Yugi. Thank you so much.